Now here is a quick tip for Johnson transmitter lamp holding assemblies. Go around the back, you can see the little lamp for the bezel. There is a phenolic spacer in here, okay, and you see it's very loose, which sometimes allows the center post to shift and contact the case. When that happens, it fries the wiring in the Ranger because the filament circuit is not fused. Here is a quick solution. So as a safety measure, what I do to correct the situation is I take a rubber grommet, I cut it in half and make a slice in it, and then I just push it down over the shaft of that lamp. Once it's in place, I add a little dab of adhesive to keep the grommet in place. And now the phenolic washer seats in there nicely and eliminates the opportunity for a short. Now right, here is another tech tip for the Johnson Ranger and other transmitters that run the 6AL5 bias rectifier tube. If you're noticing modulation current drift, you're having to readjust the 20K resistor under the chassis to bring the modulation idle current back into tolerance, that is an indication that your negative bias is shifting. There's two sources of that shift, a weak 6AL5 tube, or underneath of this platform, there are two 4.7K resistors forming a voltage divider. So to solve the problem, you're gonna remove that tube and you're gonna install this nifty little seven pin base that has two 1N4007 diodes. You can buy this base through Surplus Sales in Nebraska. Here is the package that it comes in. This is a part dated 1984. They're Bakelite, very nice construction, plug right in. Of course, when you receive the base from Surplus Sales, there are no diodes installed, but there are solder cups, so you bend your leads, you pop them in, in this configuration, I'll attach a schematic here for your review. Now here's the schematic. You see the bias rectifier. Here are the two 4.7K resistors that I'm talking about. You solid state the bias rectifier and change those resistors and your negative bias will be rock stable. 